Okay, introduce Jesus to others. That's the title. Okay, the verse we read today, 2 Timothy 4, 5. This is a NLT. <laughs> what, soldiers? <laughs> what do they represent? Soldiers. What's the first thing would come into your mind when you think about soldiers? Huh? Marines? <laughs> Air Force? Fight. You know, all nations, they, they have a patch on their left or right. I don't know. Arms. See, when we see that patch, it's a flag. They represent their own nations. Right? How about cops? Irvine PD? <laughs> Sheriff? They represent for what? Safety. Service. Right? How about workers? What do they represent? Their company. Broadcom. Biocom. Biochem. <laughs> How about students? Schools, right? Now you, you got it. <laughs> then, what about God's children? What do they represent? Jesus? Of course. But do we see Jesus? If Jesus is living with us, it is much, much easier for us to introduce who Jesus is to other people. Right? But Jesus is not here. See, we need to think about here, verse 5, you should keep a clear mind in every situation. So we need to think about what do we need to represent to other people as God's children. You know, Bible says that clear mind in every situation. What does that mean to you, clear mind? Do you have dirty minds? That's what Bible points out. We all have dirty minds. That's why Bible says, keep a clear mind. We are trying to keep a clear mind, but it's not easy. Why? Why is it hard for us to keep a clear mind? Don't pretend you don't know anything. <laughs> All the distractions, right? Business. On Christmas Day, how many of you celebrate Jesus? Be honest with you. See, no one. <laughs> Clear mind means a double mind. James says, double-minded man, don't get anything from the Lord. The James chapter 1 says that. What does that mean? Double-minded. Clear mind, Bible says that, have one mind. But how? That is the question for us. We live here on earth that is sinful. Right? There are so many things that tempt us. 
Because the Bible said that we are born into a sinful world. Because of Adam and Eve. The original sin. So how do we keep a clear mind? You know, the Bible teaches us that here. Yeah, Matthew 6, 21, 24. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. Is that true? It doesn't mean that you don't own any treasure or you don't think about treasures. But before you think about treasures, you need to think about Jesus on top of that. So it's like this, when we are tempted by something, before we take an action, we need to ask Jesus Christ. Jesus, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to walk into that temptations and enjoy? Or, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you just turn me around. 180 degrees and go the other directions. Stay away from the temptations. That's what Bible meant that. See, wherever your treasure is, meaning when you don't think about Jesus and you fo only focus on yourself and your own agenda, your own desires, then there is no room for Jesus. Even though Jesus is always with us to guide us and to speak into our hearts. Hey, my beloved son and daughters, you shouldn't do that. You should consider me first and then do it. That's what he meant. See, that's why... Matthew 6.24 says, You cannot serve both God and money at the same time. See, always choices are ours. We cannot avoid temptations. Unless you leave this world. It is our responsibility how to deal with the temptations. Temptations are always out there, even before we're born here. That's what Bible mentions that those are sins. Then how do we avoid those temptations? We can, unfortunately. Even though we are Christians, even though we own the Holy Spirit in our lives, we cannot avoid Unless what? What should we do? You need to ask the Holy Spirit to come into your life. And just ask Him to go ahead of you. We just follow. Because that's what we committed. That's the meaning of Savior, Jesus, as my own Savior. I just acknowledged Him now. He's the Master. He's the ruler of my life. See, clear mind is the one mind. On top of everything, Jesus is the first. So when you live like that kind of lifestyles or attitude, people could see. <coughs> that, that's how we introduce who Jesus is. Because Jesus is my Savior and my Master, my ruler of my life. I listen to Him, I obey what He says in the Bible, because I love Him. See, that kind of attitude and you walk in your life. Can people see something different? 
Wow, NFC bodies are different. What do they eat? How do they live? Because we love Jesus. See, that's what he meant here. You should keep a clear mind in every situation. See, how many decisions you have to make a day? Yesterday was so peaceful. Nothing much to do. It's been a while that I had a quiet time. Really, really quiet time. But one thing bothered me. I shouldn't just turn on the computer. You know, nowadays the website called I Dumped For You. What does that mean, I dumped for you? And I will forgive you. That's the title of website. What kind of service do they have? You know, the relationship? You don't want to dump either of partners, then you ask. You click on and you pay a fee. They will go instead of you and deliver the message. Your boyfriend wants to dump you. But he can say to you directly, so I'm here. And in case I did something bad to you know, my friend, and it's hard to say, forgive me, so you just click. They'll deliver your message. Even record your voice. Guys, wake up. <laughs> this is the generation where we live. We are going toward more and more humanitarian society. There is no God in our lives. They don't need God. They reject. Yet, they still celebrate Christmas. Do they know the meaning of the word Christmas? This is very serious. Those two websites ruined my days. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. Where is this generation heading toward? They no longer want to see God. They just forget about. They think that they're going to live forever here. See, we need to have a clear mind. We have to show people. Jesus is my ruler, my savior, my master. That's why I only listen to him. See, that kind of attitude and lifestyle, we need to show to other people. That's the only way, I think, in this generation, to introduce who Jesus is to others. Doesn't matter how many times you just give lip service with your own knowledge. You need to believe Jesus, otherwise you go to hell. doesn't work anymore. They have no ears to hear. Oh yeah, that's true. Then you, you, you go. You go ahead and believe. It. So that's the generation we live in. So guys, we need to wake up and pray. Life is not too long. We need to think about Jesus. That's the only way the Holy Spirit is in us. He's constantly working in us. And then, He's working through us to show who Jesus is. Choice is ours, not the Holy Spirit.